Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I would like to do today guys is show you how to create this chilly text effect in Adobe Photoshop. A really cool idea that you could apply to vegetable brandings or any sort of fruit ideas out there and obviously take the steps that I show you today and implement them on your own designs. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is open up my layers window here and just select that top layer and just press backspace to remove. And we're going to start off with, <clears throat> excuse me, the original uh, image. Okay, so first thing I would need to do is make a selection of our uh, chili here. So I'm going to use the object selection tool and just simply come up to the top of the screen and press select subject. And as you can see here, we've now selected that subject. What I would like to do is duplicate this layer. Uh, the shortcut to do that on a Mac is Command J, on Windows it's Control J. And when I duplicate that, it will only duplicate what's inside of this particular selection here, i.e. the chili. So if I press that shortcut now, you can see we have the chili on its own individual layer. Now with the type tool here, what I'm now gonna do is come through and create our word, which will be chili. And I'm gonna place that about here, let's say. So to that uh, type layer, what we need to do is convert it into a smart object. You do that by pressing right click on the layer and you have convert to smart objects here. And then with my shortcut command T on a Mac or control T on Windows, I'm just gonna come through and resize our uh, word here, uh, which is no, well, no longer a word, it's a smart object. Um, but what we can also do is use our option window on Mac or alt window uh, option on uh, Windows to resize from the center point there. I'm gonna probably make it about that size there, let's say. Okay, so let's just move that to the bottom of the chili. Now, with that shortcut again, Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows, if we have uh, transform options open, I'm now gonna right click on that and use our warp option here. And then I'm just gonna use our little options here just to start warping this, uh, this word slightly into our um, chili here. As you can see, I'm just manipulating these anchor points and points on the sides here and these handles just to get a rough sort of feel for the uh, chili itself. Okay, wonderful. Now with that selected, uh, so how I do that is I'm gonna to come to the layer thumbnail and press Command on Mac or Control on Windows and click. I'm now gonna to come to this layer here and apply a layer mask, like so. And what I also need to do to this top layer is create a clipping mask. So I'm gonna come uh, on the layer, right click, create clipping mask, like so. And then with that top layer, I'm now gonna turn that one off and I'm gonna turn our bottom layer off here as well. And you can see here we have this sort of chilly effect. What I'm gonna do now is come through and start to bring back our uh, friend here. But what I need to do is add an adjustment layer of a solid color, which will be white. There we go. And now we can come to the layer mask of that chili I'm gonna use the brush tool and my foreground color should be the color white as we want to bring it back. And as you can see now, when I start to come over, we can now start to paint in and bring back the elements that we need for our chili text effect. And can I come here? I'm just gonna miss, not go too close to the eye because you wanna be sort of reading the word here. So it's gonna come through like that and bring it back like so. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.